Hello and welcome to Southern Maryland Week in Review Edition, a partnership between the Southern Maryland News and Forest Career and Technology Center's TV video production program. I'm Trent. And I'm Caleb. And here's what we have for you on this week's SOMD Wire. On December 16th, the 9th Annual Maryland Sustainable Growth Awards Virtual Ceremony for recognized individuals, organizations, and programs that exemplify well-planned economic and community development initiatives throughout the state. In the leadership category, Greg Bowen of the American Chestnut Land Trust and Rosa Hance of the Sierra Club were awarded for activities or accomplishments that advance public appreciation, understanding, or involvement in promoting smart growth and sustainable communities at the state, regional, or local levels. Governor Larry Hogan stated these awards recognize people and projects from across Maryland that bring creative, innovation, and passion to our communities. Calvert Health Center is struggling to operate due to the Omicron variant. Hospital spokeswoman Teresa Johnson stated Calvert Health Medical Center has experienced a 129% increase in the total amount of COVID-19 tests performed and is expected to eclipse that total as of now this month. The current Charles County Sheriff Troy Berry has announced that he is seeking to fill a third term as the county sheriff. Berry first ran back in 2014 and since then he's been working hard to bring down the crime rates in Charles County bringing down the violent crime rate by 61% in his two terms. He now wishes to create a more diverse police force, stating that he is committed to creating an agency that looks like the community it polices. A measure to institute an emergency order requiring a mask mandate for private businesses in Charles County failed after a marathon public hearing on Tuesday evening. It would have reimposed a mask mandate for business and instituted monetary fines for individuals found not in compliance with the order. I don't think it's the position of the government to force people to do things, said Commissioner B Gilbert B.J. O. Bowling before the vote. Now turning to sports, with the Atlantic League of Professional Baseball just three months away, the Southern Maryland Blue Crabs will begin to fill out their roster and will return familiar faces on the coaching staff. Coach Clyburn was the ALPB Manager of the Year in 2021, and Thompson was the league's top pitcher for the second time in three years. In their first official game of the new year last Friday evening, the McDonough High School girls basketball team bested visiting Patuxent 39-27. Both teams were inseparable through the first 10 minutes of the play, with the McDonough Rams owning a 9-8 lead at the end of the first quarter. Sophomore Alish Fowler actually scored all eight points for the Panthers in the opening eight minutes while the Rams rallied to claim their first lead of the night on a layup by Amina Garrett with 15 seconds left in the opener. It was a little tough to get motivated at the start, said McDonough player Alona Jones, who scored 17 points in last Friday's victory over the Panthers. We really had to find a way to get the adrenaline flowing. Once we got going, we were able to get into the game and win. That's all we have for you on this week's edition of SOMD Wire. This news brief has been provided by the Southern Maryland News. For more details, visit SOMDnews.com. I'm Trent. And I'm Caleb. Signing off.